we're going to be talking about target bones in Moho. Now we're going to be using the same character that we had used before, created by Mike Roberts, full of target bones. If I click on this main bone right here, and with my manipulate bones tool, I move this main root bone downwards. You can see his legs are bending and his feet are staying planted. This is because of target bones. Target bones are these little bones right here that have this target symbol connected to them. So there's a lot of ways you can use target bones, but one of the main ways that is really awesome and helps a lot is for walk cycles. So as you can see there, I can move him forward and I can keep the foot in the same position. Also, when you're doing something like a jump, target bones would also be very useful. As you can see, when I pulled it away from the target bones, the target bones stay planted. However, I could pick up that target bone and I can move it to wherever I'd like. So one of the first things that you need to do to make a target bone is you're gonna add a new bone. However, there's two things that are unique about a target bone. A target bone isn't going to have bone strength, so it's not gonna have that influence around the bone and it's not going to be parented to anything. So what we're gonna do in order to make a target bone is create where we want the target bone to be. It is really ideal to have the actual bone touching the end of the bone that you want to target. So for example, in his foot here, there is that tip and I can create a target by simply dragging out a bone. Now with Moho 12, you can actually create a target bone also using root bones and you can create a target bone however you would like. If you want it to be at this angle here, here, however you want, it's totally preference. So let's say I wanna create a target bone and have it at that angle right there. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect this bone. So I'm gonna go over to my select bone tool and I'm just gonna click off of that bone because I want to create a new bone now for the other side. So I wanna create another target bone, but like I said before, I don't want it to be parented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the end of this bone here and I'm gonna draw out my target bone. And there you go. So if I did that correctly, you can see here in the parenting that those are not parented to anything. If you see something like this where the bone is connected to something like that, simply select the bone that is parented to something else and simply click off. And that is going to deselect any parenting for the target bone. Now right now, these are simply just bones they are not targeted to anything yet. But also what we need to do is we're gonna hit S on the keyboard and we're gonna remove the bone strength. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this bone, holding down shift, I'm gonna select the other bone. So now both of those bones are highlighted. Go to the bone strength icon here, hit S on the keyboard, and I'm going to click and drag left. And as you can see there, now the bone strength is set to zero. So now I can come back to my select bone and select off of those bones. So there we go. We have our two bones that we had created for this character. If I go over to the root bone here and I move this down, you can see how targets are going to be used. Right now it's not set up as a target. So when I move this root bone, it's moving the entire body. The feet aren't staying planted, but everything else is moving. So let's go ahead and let's create our target bones. So to create a target bone, there's one of two ways to do it. One of the first ways is you can select the bone that is going to be connected to the target bone. In this case, this one's already labeled. You can label your bones simply by clicking and creating a name. So if I wanted to, I could change this name to F target. However, I'm just going to keep it the same. So with the bone now selected, in this case, F calf, so front calf, I'm gonna to go to my bone constraints and I'm gonna to go to this selection here. This is my target. And I'm gonna click on this drop down. And as you can see here, there's a ton of different selections that I can use. But what I wanna do is I wanna target this bone to a specific bone, being this one right here. This one I know is labeled B23, because when I select that bone, it has that label. Again, you can name this whatever you want and it will pop up here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my main bone here, the front calf. Now I'm gonna find B23. And as you can see there, I know that this is targeted because there is a little target icon right there. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. However, I'm gonna show you a shortcut of how you can also create a target bone. 
First, what you're going to do is you're going to select your bone that you want to connect the target to. So in this case, it's going to be my B calf. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Reparent icon or P on the keyboard. Now with my Reparent icon selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the back bone here and I'm going to create a target for this bone here. All you have to do is make sure that that bone is selected, go to the bone that you want to select, hold down control and left click. And as you can see there, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little target symbol created there. That does tell me that now both of those bones are target bones. So now when I go to the root bone here and I move his body down, you can see his feet are now staying planted. However, you probably notice that his feet aren't only staying planted at that certain position there, but they are going through the floor. And this is called your independent angle. And we're gonna talk about this in the next lecture. I'll see you there.